I am Anil Kumar and in this video I am going to discuss how to solve quadratic equations which involve fractions. I have uh, many requests in this regard. Here are a few questions which some students have sent. So I will pick up a few questions from here and we will discuss how to solve such quadratic equations where we have kind of fractions. right? So I will take this up now z square minus 1 divided by 5 equals to 7 and uh, let me take that one also. So we'll take these two equations and see how to solve them. So let's copy these equations and begin. So the first one here is z square minus 1 divided by 5 is equal to 7. The other one is x squared divided by 2 plus 7x over 4 equal to 0, right? Now, the strategy is kind of similar for both. Let me name my strategies. This one I'll call cross multiply. And here we'll multiply by common denominator. So we look for lowest common denominator and then uh, I should have written times by lowest common denominator, right? So we say times both sides, all right, by lowest common denominator. So that's the idea. So the basic approach here is to get rid of fractions, right? So that is the basic approach. And both these strategies help us to meet the criteria. So if you cross multiply, which can be done in such an example, it cannot be really done here, right? Now what do you get? 7 times 5 is 35 and you are left with z square minus 1 on the left side and 7 times 5. Let me write 7 times 5 in the bracket first. So that is the first step. Now we could write this as z square minus 1 equals to 35. Let me take one on the other side. So we have z squared equals to 35 plus 1 or z squared equals to 36. Now what is z? Very easy to find, right? So we can say z is equals to square root of 36. Now, is that the correct answer? Well, it is incorrect answer since we should always take both the values plus and minus, right? So, so z is equals to plus or minus 6, right? If you do not take both the values, you are only giving half the answer and you may not get full marks for that, okay? Minus 6 square is also 36. That's kind of important to remember that minus 6 whole square is also equal to 36, right? So, so that is a solution for the given equation right okay now let's move on to the second example and the second strategy the strategy here is that the fractions can be avoided by multiplying both sides each and every term by the lowest common denominator now we have x squared over 2 plus 7x over 4 equals to 0 what is the lowest common denominator 2 and 4 4 is the lowest common denominator, right? So the lowest common denominator is 4. So what we will do here is, we'll multiply each term by 4. So we have x squared over 2 plus 7x over 4 equal to 0. So we'll times by 4. So we get 4 times this, 4 times this, and this times 4. 4 can be divided by 2, so we can write this as 2x squared. 4 can be divided by 4, we get 1, so we get plus 7x equal to 0, right. At this stage, when you have this quadratic equation, the best way to solve it further is to factor. x is a common factor, we can write x and we get 2x plus 7 equal to 0. Now when you multiply two factors and you want 0, then each factor can be 0. So one solution is x equals to 0. The other one is 2x plus 7 equals to 0. 
this can be solved we get 2x equals to minus 7 x is equals to minus 7 over 2 right so we have two solutions here so let's write down the answer separately so the answer here is x equals to 0 or minus 7 over 2 in this case the answer is z equals to plus minus 6. I hope that helps to understand how we can solve quadratic equations which involve fractions. So I'll take a few more examples and uh, kind of complete this list. right? So I hope that is going to help many of my students, especially of grade 10, who are just beginning to learn this here. Thank you and all the best.